the Pocket Watch Podcast. I'm Zach <clears throat> Cruz. It's your boys. Get it, bitch. 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 All right, stop, stop. This could be a new listener right now, and we're just like totally. Anywho, thank yes. you for tuning in another week. We love you guys so much. Thank it's just you the so Dolo much. Boys today. Dolo Boys. Uh, whatever platform you're watching on, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Spotify Video, whether it's Apple Podcasts, whether it's iHeartRadio, whether it's TuneIn, whether it's uh, uh, a bunch of other shit, Google Cast, whatever you like listening to, thank you for listening weekly. Please like whatever you're watching. Please make sure to follow. If you have something or someone you can share it to, please share it. Thank you so much. We love that. I can't go into the settings now that we're recording. So we can't play the thing? I don't think so. Can we... Is that song on the other version? Yeah, but I don't know if I can switch the board. Oh, I can. Yeah, no, I can do it. Okay. All right, <laughs> Anyways, all right, all right. I'm sorry. All right, good, good. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much. You just didn't even have technical difficulties. Uh, no, no. So, guys, I just we just wanted to start this off. So, we were messing with our sounds. XYZ. It was great. Whatever. And then we stumbled across one of our old anchor promotions. Yeah. Now, so the we OGs, haven't done them. The OGs know about the anchor promotions. So, are they still on... Apple Podcasts, like those that you listen to? So I think if you listen to the old Spotify videos, if you go to like... Is it just Spotify? Just Spotify. Okay, so this is great. Okay, yeah. so those, yeah, that, th- those that are recent listeners, ever since we did Spotify video, uh, our anchor promotion, which is the, per- the, the platform that we send our RSS feed to, so all of our platforms can listen to us and see us, except for YouTube, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Uh, if you're a, if you're thinking about starting a podcast or if you want to find something that you want to upload, anchor is a great platform to yeah. upload your RSS to It's very usable, user friendly. It's amazing. We're doing a promotion for them right now because you know what? We haven't for like 30, yeah, we're not getting 40, paid. 50 episodes. We're not getting paid for it right now. We, we not but, enough. No, right. But we had a sponsorship with them. Technically we still have it, but just like their current system that they have set up, you're not able to apply Whenever you do the the Spotify video, you can't add your sponsorship clips into it. That's integrated with Anchor. And Spotify video, with it, way need, more. Yeah, they need to fix that <laughs> shit, anyways. But anyways, we stumbled upon it. This is we haven't been doing this for what since I, and honestly, like fifty episodes. I just want to say I like that we don't have this in our episodes. No, honestly, I wish we did, bro. No, this shit was no, so no, no. funny. We're gonna steer. We always steer. We're always gonna steer clear of adding any clips or whatever and shit like that. As far as advertising, unless it's like. Us I don't personally know, bro, doing we it. made this shit fun. We stumbled across this <laughs> our last advertisement and we laughed so hard. If you haven't heard it, we're playing it right now. We fucking love it's hilarious. All uh right. if you don't have anchor, if you want to use it, here here's why you should use it. <laughs> but yeah, listen listen to this, bro. It's fucking hilarious. And only the OGs would know this one, but it's all good. Listen. Are you looking to create a podcast? If so, check out Anchor. It is absolutely free. Free! Creation tools that let you record and edit your podcast directly from your phone or computer. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listeners. Anchor will distribute your podcast so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Music, and many more. Yeah. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started now. Yeah. Now! That's crazy. <laughs> Ah, that's funny as fuck. All right. So, I mean, if you didn't like it, I'm sorry. We, I thought you would like it. Right. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> that's like that's like a throw. That's crazy because we made that like almost a year ago, bro. We did. We made that a year ago, and w- that was still when we had. Um, we were still recording over here. We still had the bunk pad in the room. And me and Zach were listening to our original uh, promotion, and it was so terrible. It was horrible. It was we're like, like, hey, guys, just, like, listen, use Anchor. I don't know. Whatever. It was, like, super professional, super whack. So we're like, let's just make it fun if somebody has to listen to it because yeah. we didn't have Spotify video yet. And we were spitballing what we wanted to do, and I was like, what do you want me to do this? Be like, and he was like, like yeah, that sounds fire. That sounds so great. <laughs> and then I'll, like, I'll, I'll be like, free. <laughs> That shit was funny. Well, Migos that shit. We yeah, Migos that, that promotion, bro. <laughs> bro, honestly, I'm I'm so sad that like that promotion didn't blow up like we like getting our views that we should because I promise you if Anchor would have heard that, we would have been hired for like a TV thing. I'll clip I it. guarantee. I'll it. clip it and I'll add. Could it you up. imagine like we come in and like that's, that's the, I'll clip it story <laughs> and I'm adding Anchor if they don't look it it's their loss. Oh that's man, that's loss. that's funny, bro. Oh my god. Could you imagine like the intro like we're in like a jungle and cruises on the drums? <laughs> And I come fucking swinging from a vibe. <laughs> do you want? Do you have a podcast? Do you want to fuck? Bro, anchor? <laughs> oh 
Oh three. my god, that's right. fucking hilarious. Anywho, anyway, sorry. <laughs> I was a trip. I was a trip. And if you didn't hear it before, maybe you're happy. <laughs> maybe you're like, no, man. Good thing I tuned in after. That Honestly, bullshit. bro. Anybody that heard that, bro, they always they always laughed at it. Like they always hit us up and was like, yo, that shit was fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah. Nobody was like, that was a trash ass promotion. Like, I feel like we, I feel like they should have thrown us like ten bands for making that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get into it. Anyways, let's get into it right now. It. All right. Some fire. 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 Okay, so I, I heard this quote, and it made me think, and I like it. Let's talk about it for a little bit, and then we can move on. Uh, all men can, let's just say all people can handle adversity, right? All people can Diversity? handle ad- no, adversity. I'm not messing with you. Jeez. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> all right. So, let's, let's just joke. All men can, ha- all people can handle adversity. If you want to know a man's, a person's character... Give him power. Give mm. that person power. That's great. So all people can handle adversity. If you want to learn their character, give them power. I'm, I'm going to ask you a question just to kind of start off with that. Did you ever hear about that? Um, I don't know what the, ten, ter, the technical term would be for it. It was like a clinical trial or psychology trial, whatever, where they took a group of people and they put them inside of a jail. And they made half the group or whatever inmates and they made the other half Sorry, they made the other half like prison guards. Did you hear about that? Mm-mm. So basically, that's, they made that's a good. Go ahead, yeah. So yeah, they made half of them inmates, half of them prison guards, and um, it was absolutely crazy. Because I'm just going to kind of jump to the end. They actually had to end the experiment because somebody got killed, and it was because the prison guards took their power so crazy, and like they took it way beyond like what they should have. And there was like a lot of like crazy abuse. Like it was absolutely insane. Like what was going on in there? Like I, I don't remember exactly all the details because this was a long time ago. I learned about it in psychology actually, but it was absolutely insane. Like they were like mistreating them, they were like beating them and everything like that, just because like they had the power. And uh, like after they were done, they were like, "Oh, I don't even know what happened to me." Like everything like that. But they were talking about like how when you give power to people in certain in certain circumstances, how it can be taken and blown way out of proportion for it. So it was yeah, pretty crazy. It was a crazy. Bro. It was a crazy study. But that goes to like the exposed character. Yeah. Right, like I mean, like it, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the name of it. I'm so sorry, bro. But you hear that study, and you're like, oh, uh, of course that happened because you gave prisoners, you know, power or whatever, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that's that proves that quote true. You know what I mean? Like, give somebody power, and it shows their true character. It's almost like you could expedite that prison process by giving them power to like see true change and shit. So like it was that. a uh, it's called the Stanford Prison Experiment was a psychological experiment conducted in the summer of 1971 as a two-week simulation of a prison environment that examined the effects of situational variables on participants' reactions and behaviors. That's what it was. Yeah. That's a, that's a dope example, though. Yeah, it was, pretty, it was pretty crazy. And, I mean... It was actually ended... It was supposed to be a two-week experiment, but it only ended after six days. <laughs> oh, wow. So, um, let me read a little something off it. It was crazy. So, it was a... Uh, wow. This is one of those stupid websites you have to pay for. Anyways, look it up, bro. It was really, really cool, and it was really, really crazy. I remember reading about it, like I said, I was in psychology and learning about it, and I was like, what the fuck? So, yeah, look at that, bro. That's that's an interesting-ass experiment right there, because yeah. it's like, and, and it's funny because the same people or the same person is going to argue about a prison guard being crazy on them. Yeah. And that doesn't make, like, regular prison guards wrong, but it yeah. just shows, like, they got a certain power, right? Yeah, I wonder if some. I wonder if somebody died, bro. I really think that somebody somebody did die. Mm. But yeah, the guards retaliated. The guards retaliated by using a fire extinguisher, which shot a stream of skin chilling carbon dioxide, and they forced the prisoners away from the doors and everything. It was crazy. It was like a full on riot. You should definitely look into it. And these are think, keep in mind these are like these were. I think they were college students, if I'm not mistaken. These were like normal people. These were not people who were serial killers. These were not people who who had any type of previous acts of violence so it's, or anything. So the experiment was kind of meant to show. So they oh, so these aren't even prisoners. No, no, they weren't. Like, none of them were prisoners. They're none just of the volunteers. Guards. They were just like a part of an experiment. Yeah, and they had to like live there and everything like that for like two weeks. And like they said, it ended after six days. I think I'm pretty sure I remember somebody dying, but I don't quote me on that. I could be wrong on that. But I remember it was like something drastic happened. And they were like. No, nah, this just got to stop. After only six So days. that experiment was probably meant to prove the effects of power. Power. Yeah. On an on, on average person. 
And it goes to show too, like uh, there's so many bad movies about bosses and stuff like that. Like, cause and they do so good. Not bad movies. So many movies about bad bosses. Yeah, yeah. And they do so good because so many people relate. And that goes to like how bad like uh, managers are or like directors are like bosses are on average. Yeah. There is something to like you only remember the bad also. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. I think like there was some type of stat in my little management class that I took or whatever that was like like pretty much 60 percent of people feel like they've had bad bosses. Or seventy oh, percent. I'm surprised it's only sixty or seventy. Yeah, it was like seventy percent because it was like twenty something percent. Like the point was like, oh, so that means there's only twenty something percent good bosses. You know what I mean? So it's like that's not good. Well, yeah, I don't know. But the, to the power thing, yeah. right? That's why I think like while we're saying talking about bosses, is leadership is more important. Like leadership is the best quality in a manager or any person in a leadership position. Like. And it's ironic that I'm saying leadership position, but when I say leadership, I mean like that teamwork aspect, that that like certain things like that. Because people like that, even when they get power, that just yeah. gets multiplied. Yeah, you know what I mean. Versus like, because merit, I I think merit is everything. But like, man, like when you have a team and stuff like that, that's why those positions pay more and yeah. stuff, right? Because when you have a team, it's a little more than just what you do. It's like how you deal with people and how you move people in the team. And like, like I've, I've been, I've experienced where there's like a lot of managers, but there's not a lot of leadership. Yeah. Right. No. Yeah, and what's more important, you know what I mean? And no, then you yeah. can see like leadership coming from other people. We talked about it on a leadership type episode yeah. or whatever, you, but you also see like the whole, like you see like a bunch of memes. You see like though I've seen like it go around a bunch. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people listening probably saw it too but there's one where there's like um so imagine like a bunch of people walking and there's like pretty much like uh reins attached on like their horses Mm -hmm. and there's like a desk and one of the then both pictures are like that and one of the pictures you see like the boss sitting on top of the desk with like a whip he's like like Mm -hmm. that and it's like that's a boss and they were saying like a leader is like the leader was in the front Pulling him, yeah, he was in the front grabbing him and yeah. pulling him with him, and I was like, like that was like a leader but versus like a boss. That I just say that to say, and we talked about it on an episode before, to in in a different way that we didn't say on that episode is, damn, the thing that we didn't kind of realize is that power does expose. So if the character is not right for that position, Suppose then ability, then yeah. the power just amplifies that. Yeah. Right? No, yeah, 1,000. And same yeah. thing, like I said, if you got somebody that's a leader and you put them in a position to lead, it just amplifies Flies it. it. Yeah. So it does, like, because the quote is, everybody can handle adversity, but put give somebody power, you learn their character. So it's like, does power show your character more, or does adversity show your character more? Mm. And... I when I kind of thought about it, when I thought about it, I was kind of like, I think power shows your character more, but and, you and, might and, learn. And I feel like adversity reinforces how, yeah. how like your character. It either creates or or, or yeah. you learn your character. Yeah, I I I, I, th- I think they do different. I feel like they can kind of apply in different. The same I feel way, like though. adversity breaks character. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can you can either reinforce it or break it depending on right, like like how 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 strong your character is. Yeah, like 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 if you're people, a weak character, somebody on the streets, right? Like let's yeah. just say OBT, like like prostitutes or something. Damn, okay. I don't know if that's necessarily their character. Okay, like if we're talking about character, but adversity broke that. Character, so like maybe that quote's talking more about the strength of somebody's character too, or maybe the power from those those prostitutes on OBT. Maybe the power of the pimp is so strong that they can't. No, but, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but like also if you see jokes. me resort to like something, like if I go through advert, let's say I get fired, boom, Damn. and then you see me resort to some weird shit. Are do you judge my character off that? If you a little a bit, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, like I do like, I don't know. Like, yeah, you're, like, yo, you're, you're talking to me about your career last yeah. week and now you're at Chippendales. Like you're literally dancing on the table. You right? would do good though. I would make so you, much you more probably, money. You'd probably like, make more money. Way more money. Yeah. I thought about it multiple if, times. If you did the gym school, for like bro. for like a good oh. three to six months, 
Bro, in school, like when I was in college and I was like ready to quit, bro, like I was like, yo, I'm already working out. You would like, be doing great until they tell you to pull your pants off. No, don't don't you touch. <laughs> yeah, well I don't have to show it. So I could put some prosthetics down there. <laughs> this man gonna shove a banana in before he starts. No, but for real. Would nah, you judge just... my character if no, I resorted yeah. to something less than what I was talking to you about this like since you've known me? You to know? a certain to a certain degree, um I would I would understand if you just took something as anything that you could have for the time being because you would just need to yep. have something. Um, now, if you, like a now, if you like degraded yourself to a certain degree, I think I would be more so like, what's going on? Like, why did you go that route? Whatever. Like, you wouldn't see me the same, right? Is that my character that has that impact on me? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, on your perspective on me? Yeah. I don't know. So it, it's valid. But I just think... But showing someone's character, because like if you're so so, if you're so, like, so quick question, this might put to put you on the, the hot seat. Yeah. So you saying that does that apply to, to girls going to OnlyFans? Because you use the Chip and Deal example. No, I don't know. Oof. It depends though. Like, but like my situation. Okay. So I don't say like because I'm not talking shit about Chip and Dale's dancers. Do your thing, bro. Like I'm like I'm saying they make more money than I make. You know what I mean? But like if you're like. An aspiring insert business yeah, title. Like expiring CFO, like right? or some shit, you know, director. And you're a girl and you're telling me that, I see you one way. And then if you stop, like you get fired and then you kinda stop continuing and you're doing OnlyFans, I see you a different way. Dang, so you're saying you look at OnlyFan girls. It's well. just it's not not like I look at OnlyFans, but if I know you were doing this and now I see you doing this, then you're kinda showing Character in a way Yeah Because what difference. is character Is it like Is grit character Is like You I know what like I mean grit's a trait of character I think character is So describing character right like, I think I think A character is the Accumulation of traits That one person holds Or one person uh, Like shows essentially Or is You gonna Google He's googling currently No cause character. I think it matters Cause loyal Generous Kind Yeah those are traits Brave, quiet, so like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so like I said, tra- character is a is an accumulation of traits of that traits. one, yeah, one person has, right. And or possesses it's like I should, a yeah, little different possesses. from personality because yeah. it's not what personality is different from 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 character, character a little more deeper. Character is like the morals and like the the like I said, trace the trace that you hold within yourself. Personality is is the way I I think. You traits, react to others. I think character influences your personality, but personality is so much different because you can have somebody that holds the same character but have different personalities. Yep. Yep. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yep. So let's continue this. So with that said, I think adversity does kind of show character. Okay. Yeah, no, I agree with right? that. I agree with that. Yeah. So like with that said, I think adversity has a fighting chance against power. But like hmm. But there's a limit to it cuz like I said, you could have a certain character. This is a deep combo because I'm, I'm breaking down into my head, and there's a lot of people who have faced a lot of adversity, and it shows character. And it shows character, and, and like you can tell that they don't may not have a lot of power of their life, but they can be a powerful individual because of the adversity that they've gone through and they've worked through them. And a lot of people also feel like sometimes they don't have power in their life; they don't have control of their life. Yeah, you know what I mean. But. I think the ultimate thing with that quote for me is if you can build character off adversity, then it's not the ultimate exposure. Yeah. Because I think adversity is a character manipulator, maker, creator, breaker, all of the above adversity is to character. Where if you like if you want to test the strength of somebody's character, uh that okay, that changes the mm-hmm. like Let's test the strength. You say this is somebody's character. What's the two best ways to, to find out? Them. Yeah. Let's. What are, would you rather give that person? So this person's character is humble, grit, X, Y, Z, something like that, right? And then, uh, how do we find out if that's really that person's character? Do you put them through adversity or do you put them through power? Give them power. Which Which is the quickest indicator of somebody's character? Adversity, I would say. Adversity. For those traits, for sure, right? Yeah. I say power, too. You say power? I say, I say power, bro, because also it's quicker, which changes the argument, but... 
I I feel like I feel like a lot of people would fold faster. I think so. I, I'm trying. I don't know how to put the words of what I'm thinking in my head. No, because it's hard. Um, think about it. So that's crazy. That's crazy. I feel like a lot of people would fold under adversity. I feel like there's certain traits that adversity would show, like would like kind of like show you, like it basically reinforce. And then there would be other traits that you would see through power. You know, I feel like I feel like definitely like a balance of yep. both would would break. And I feel like depending on the traits would show, uh, because like for example, like loyalty would be that would fall into the power category. Yeah. Versus adversity category. Yeah. Um. Humble, I feel like, would be under the adversity category. Or, no, power, right? Yes, yeah. Look, no, right? I, like, that's yes, the definition yeah. of you get on, but you don't put nobody on kind of thing. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I can see that. Like, I can see both. Loyalty, too. I, I can, I think that. Loyalty and adversity. I think adversity would make you humble. Because <laughs> people in relationships say the best way to test loyalty is adversity, too. Right? Really? Yeah. Like Adversity uh, in what sense? Give me an example. Think about your girl and if you're a provider. Okay. If we go through adversity, I'm testing that loyalty right now. Yeah, no, that's true. Immediately. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking of like loyalty in aspect of like, in the aspect of like, um, that's the you get on but you don't put me on. No, like more like I was thinking loyalty more of like uh, like relationship wise. For example, would be for power would be like you're like now you're like some big millionaire. You like are like some big shot. Yeah. And all the girls want you oh, now. Sure. Everybody's like literally throwing yourselves at you. Then it's like that right there is the ultimate test of loyalty versus whenever you don't have as many of those. Yeah, well, let us know in the comments because we took that quote and we said nope. Because I think at the end of the day, it's a quote, so he's not obvious. It's just a quote, right? But because it was a prominent person, I can't even name the person that it was. But like, it's a smart dude, so I can't name the quote or the person that did the quote. There's obviously a smart person, but I think we dissected it well. Where it's like, nah, Ad- yeah. that adversity tests certain. Characteristic character traits, well, yeah, and depending on what you're trying to test, you use power or adversity. Mm-hmm. But I like that quote too because those are the two things that show character the most. I can't yeah. think of anything else that shows character more than power or adversity. No, yeah, definitely, right? Yeah, like success or adversity. Mm-hmm. You know, like like you get a good job, but you don't help somebody else that you know could do great because you know, like shit like that. Like that shows a, a character trait, I think. Or you you get a good job and then you treat everybody like shit. Power yeah. that shows a certain trait. You get fired. How do you act? That exposes a character trait. You want to test different things. I think it's cool knowing, and it's also cool knowing like what, going through my life when I go, when I get power. I need, it's good to be aware. This exposes your character, bro. You know, like like. If you start doing a certain thing, is that you? Like, like this is yeah. the type of thing that exposes who you are. Same thing with adversity. When I go through adversity, this exposes your character, bro. What type of person are you? Are you going to deal with people differently because of this? Are you going to break because of this? Are you going to resort to something less than because of this? Whatever you think your character is, right? You just know you're testing it when you go through one or the other. I like that. No, that's true, though. I like that. I, I, th- I think there has to be a balance of, like... I feel like an ultimate person that has like an ultimate person be able to handle both. Yeah. No, no, no. If you can handle both ultimate testers, yeah, you are the ultimate character. Because I, I feel like, yeah, like, I, like, like, like I said, I feel like there's people who can fold under power and there's other people who would fold under adversity more so than power. Yeah. You know what I mean? And especially like also it's like, I feel like the biggest factor is going to be what is the most life changing and most life altering like if you've always been a person that's been like the under, like the underdog, like the one that's always been shit on stuff like that, and when you get power, you can go one or two ways. It's like, oh, I know what it's like to get shitted on, yeah. and now that I have the power, I make sure not to do that. Or you could be the person that's always been shit on. It's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. Fuck everybody. I I had to eat shit. Now everybody else has to eat shit. Yeah. You well, know what I mean? What you're talking about, like that fork in the road, that decision part right there, that moment. Is literally a character test. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? I agree. That's, like, that's what I'm saying. Is it's adver- like, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, definitely. I agree. I think. I think. It's, I think it's a balance of both. I don't think that there's you can't go wrong with, with without one without the other. But I would say more so if like if I had to choose one that I think would be more influential, I think a lot more people tend to fold. Oh, under yeah. under um, adversity than power. Well, okay. Personally. Here's the next thing I want to talk about before we leave this topic is 
Uh, the hard part about that, this comparison in the in the quote, adversity versus power, is most people face adversity. That's what I was getting ready. That's, I was getting ready to say like when you were saying that I was going to say everybody gets power. I was going to say a lot of people who who have lack of character traits don't tend to attain power because of yeah. their lack of the traits. So they don't ever actually obtain power. Yeah, like, like adversity. That's what I was getting ready to say. While while both are equally as powerful, like we just dissected, adversity is the most frequently okay, yeah occurred. Yeah, and yeah, used definitely. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. To I agree test with that. character. Mm-hmm. That's I where agree with that. that's where it's like. That's why that quote slapped, because people are always like, damn, I always thought about adversity as the ultimate mm-hmm. character tester. Why? Because that's the most most common, yeah. most common. But then it's like, yo, power is actually pretty there, you yeah. know? And it's true. I think they're equally powerful. Mm-hmm. Huh? They're equally mm-hmm. effective in testing character. It's just adversity definitely happens more often. I, I would definitely agree. That, that's what I was going to say. Right, right before you said yeah. that, I was going to add that on at the end. Yeah, I, like that. I agree with that. All right, what's, what's the next? What you got in the pocket? All right, the next one real quick in the pocket. Pocket Watch Podcast. If you haven't already, like, follow, share, subscribe, tell your mom. And your father. Tell your sister. And your brother. And your, and your granddaddy. And the rest of you can. <laughs> Anyways. All right. all right, but, all right. I know you didn't fucking like and follow, so go fucking like and follow what the fuck you do. Yo, doing. that's crazy. We just said it, and you didn't do it. You're, probably- You're an asshole. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just joking. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I had, um, uh, okay, the thought, the thought is... I don't know what this topic is, guys. So. I, I I don't envy these big ass businesses. I'm specifically talking about automotive businesses, Toyotas, automotive. Hondas, okay. all these Teslas, mm-hmm. whatever. Right? Okay, okay. I do not envy these people because there is you're just dealing with all types of money, and you're also not in for the next ten years. You're thinking about fifty, a hundred years from now, right? Mm-hmm. Like like mm-hmm. like every move is like very precise and strategic because mm-hmm. you're in that that a very high competitive game. Okay. Um, I don't envy these guys because there's like, all right, there's this big move, right? This big movement, especially, especially with the, the EV. En- no, uh, with like just electric cars, right? Yeah. That's what like, it is. Yeah. Okay. So like, especially with Elon Musk's, uh, mm-hmm. innovations and stuff to make it a little more use, uh, like available and stuff. And well, he, he, he releases patents to everybody. You he know, releases these. patents, right? Yeah. All these companies, like people are almost investing in companies. Because mm-hmm. of the investments they're making in EV. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, oh, yeah. GMC is going crazy. Ford every, is going crazy. Every single company, even even Dodge. And yeah. Dodge is known as, like, the fucking American muscle. But I actually watched a uh, video. I forgot the name of the fucking... It's, it's, like, a really common car company or whatever. Like, car YouTube or whatever mm-hmm. group. And um, I want to say Hoon again, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, there's somebody, like, similar to Hoon again. Anyways, they were talking about how um, basically, like... All the car companies are owned by like umbrella companies. Like, For sure, they have like one big person that owns all the. Companies. I think there's two or three. I don't remember exactly how many it was, but they but went yeah. through. But they went through each one, and they said that Dodge was one of the ones giving the worst pushback, saying we'll never do it, we'll never do it. And basically, they said you're gonna fucking do it, or you guys will be out of business. It, it, Dodge will not. Dodge a, will no longer exist because we will pull f- from our funding from you. Yeah. So basically, that everybody's well, if getting. They're pushed. leaning on them. That's different. But too. every single company is doing it. Yeah. Porsche. But, but, everybody. Okay. So hear me out. We're at the point now where it's it's very publicly advertised and it's and it's accepted and it's wanted. It's, mm-hmm. it's asked for. It's almost a brand thing at this point too, to the point too where people are investing in companies that are investing heavily in EV and stuff because they're like that's going to be a good future stock, and we all have this perception that, and and not that it's just a perception. It could be very much a reality that that the future is that right. Tesla, this and that. Yeah. So one of my one of my professors. Uh, said something and I was like huh and he said he was like uh, the the car company that he thinks is going to be the top in the in 10 15 20 years from now um and it's not that f- crazy but it's I like the reason that he picked is he said Toyota and he said because they are not investing at all in EV and he thinks he, he, what he's saying is these companies that are making these big investments in these electric cars, um, it's, it's very costly. 
So what he thinks is Toyota is going to be one of the only companies because of this. Like, and he also said a good point where, like, even in the U.S., which infrastructure is very good here, uh, in a neighborhood for everybody to be electric cars, like, right now we can only do, like, one charge station per seven houses. Yeah, because I think they say if... Uh, like, if, our grid can't take it. No, I think they said, I don't remember exactly, I know it's either 40 or 60%. If 40 or 60% of the United States, I think it's 40%. But anyways, it's either one of those. Um, obtain electric vehicles, our whole grid system in the United States would fail. Okay. So he thinks that because they're not investing, they're going to be one of the car companies in the next 10 to 5 years that are going to be able to maintain quality for a low price. Mm. Right? And when you think of Toyota and Honda are the two competitors. And he didn't talk about Honda. And I don't know about Honda's investments in EV and stuff like that. But... I he said that they are the least the at least the and they could be very close on least, but that was a great point because it's like yo because Ford is investing a lot. Oh yeah, they GMC the is truck. investing a lot, and maybe they're fine. Maybe they're innovative, and maybe that's is what's gonna happen, and they're fine, or they're just opening a market and they're like dummy, you know this and that. But I think since the automotive industry already is like, like they say all the time, are you selling McDonald's cheeseburgers or Lamborghinis? Because they're trying to show like one, you need units one you could sell one and make a big ass profit. Right. Cars is already like that. So staying in the, the high quality, low price type field is like the number one generator. You know what I mean? If was Toyota is already the number one. Can't they're like, I think, I don't know if it's Camrys or Crows, but the number one car sold. Are you and, hurting on the chair, bro? Yeah, this is this, this not meant for double ups. <laughs> it's not meant for double ups. But it it's like, damn, bro, that's a good-ass point. Because yeah. I'm not, man, I don't, at the end of the day, when you got 20K to buy a car or something, like you're getting the most efficient thing you can. For 20K, you're not even getting an EV. I mean, finance, whatever. And that's the yeah. thing. Like, So there's a price thing to uh, overcome, but also like a functional thing a logistics thing since we're on the topic of <laughs> on topic of ev i don't know if you've seen but tesla just drop a lot of their prices and a lot of people are pissed off because if you ordered a car i don't remember after what date but if you ordered a car after like a certain date i want to say like january 13th so if you ordered a car before that you paid like 10 to 20 percent more and they just dropped the prices on like all their cars brand new for like 10 to 20 percent yeah and that shit's hurting a lot and then also on top of that um Carvana, I think Carvana is eating shit right now because they bought all these cars up for like a premium and now they're trying to liquidate all this stuff. And I saw that they sold, oh man, I forgot the percentage, but it was like a, it was like more than half. They sold more than half of their inventory of Teslas, like within like a, within like a 24 hour period. I don't know, man. And, then, and I don't mean to shit on that. Like, I think it's a good thing and mm-hmm. a cool thing. And I think honestly, the happy medium is what if 30% of, our, the United States had EV And does that help You know like Our environment And shit like that Like does that help The prices of gas maybe Well, well it's, it's debatable if Because it, If it drops the demand Then does the price of gas Kind of like I've, I've seen drop? a lot of I've seen a lot of um, I've seen a lot of uh, Not even articles But like Actual uh, What do you call them Like uh, Fuck bro See I'm forgetting basic words Like whenever people do Like um, a video on something Like a documentary I've seen, yeah. seen a couple of documentaries About um, the mining of the lithium right. for for those and how much there's that argument too. and how much that damages the ecosystem and how many vehicles for that. I saw like a whole like a whole documentary on it or whatever, and that was significant. So like I feel like and I think people are kind of steering away from the whole argument about environmental. I think yeah. a lot of people are trying to steer away from that now because they kind of already know it's like okay that's a bullshit. We're excuse. still hurting it. Yeah, we're still hurting it just on a different on a different end of the market. You yeah. know what I mean? So I, I feel like that's like a kind of out of the equation now. Um, but a lot of people are now just going for efficiency, and, and, it's, it's and for there. the people who, for the people who don't know, I did have a Tesla for two months. Mm-hmm. I had a Model Three Long Range, and it can work. It's very, 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 very situational. You have to be a specific individual. Yeah, and I will explain. The specific individual has to be somebody who has a charging station at home. You have to have a charging station at home. And two, you have to be somebody who does not do significant mileage annually on your vehicle. So if you do more than like 15, 20,000 miles a year in your car, 
you're kind of at that point where it might be cost efficient. It might not be cost efficient. And it also depends on what vehicle you're, if you're driving a big ass truck right now and you're going to switch to Tesla, obviously it's going to be more efficient, but hybrids on a general basis will be almost as efficient if you rely on superchargers a lot. Yeah. That's the key factor. And also this also depends on where area you're you still live. paying to charge publicly. Yeah. Well, so the thing is like, at least for mine was based off of Orlando. So like, this is my numbers. I did a whole Excel spreadsheet for the two months that I had and everything. I did all the math. And for the two months that I had it, now Orlando is a little bit high on the uh, supercharge fees. They charge forty to forty-four cents per kilowatt hour, and a house over here is usually about eight to nine cents per kilowatt hour. Plus, there's like a fee of like five or something like that cents. So it's like ten, thirteen cents, whatever you know. So it's like thirteen cents, fourteen cents per kilowatt hour, whatever it is, and um, which is obviously like a quarter. More than a quarter cheaper than what Orlando's pricing is, right? And per mile, it was cheaper for me to use my Toyota Camry, which doesn't get that good fuel economy. Per mile, it was almost like I would save like it was like a penny per mile or something like that for the Tesla. But the extra cost of what the vehicle is for the Tesla doesn't equal out. Now, if you charge at home, you're lowering your cost significantly. But if you rely on superchargers, it doesn't yeah. lower. So cost efficiency is not even much of a. It's really situational, so it's not made for everybody. That's currently the thing. They would have to find a way to make it situational for the vast majority of Americans. Yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, man. It's interesting, though. I just like the perspective of, because I was always hearing, and all the circles I kind of listen to is, oh, they just invent, they got this new Ford, you know, Ford just got yeah. this new electric truck. You know, let's, I'm dropping some money in that, you know, this and that. And then this was the first time I heard, like, actually, I think Toyota is going to be number R- one because R- they're R- not doing anything rams is rams dropping the truck too i just saw the video on their electric truck yeah and that thing's fucking it's sick bro yeah it's sick like they have like the seats are fully movable they have them like a track system so you can move them forward and yeah. backwards it's sick bro and it, i do what, think what they're doing is pretty sick some of these companies too could be doing that for now and not really investing in it for the future my, my thing is what really throws me for a loop which is a good thing that's better than what Toyota's doing then you know, what, what what throws me for a loop is why all these companies are starting to come out with all the, like this tech packed well, stuff. Toyota has the Prius, so they have like they have the hybrids. hybrids. They have yeah. hybrids. They have hybrid Camrys, and you yeah. can go like forty miles on electric. They're just not investing in like yeah that future of of full EV. full electric. Yeah. yeah, and like Hyundai just recently came out with their with their um, electric vehicles, which is like fucking Tron vehicles. Have you seen them? They're like Tron cars. It's pretty cool, but yeah, it's it's, it's interesting to see what's going on with the with the EV market. Um, I don't. Th- I don't think. I don't have no no hatred towards. It. I think it's pretty cool. Electric cars are cool, man. And if you've ever driven one, yeah. at least for the Tesla that I had, uh, I, that's one. It's, it's fast as fuck. They're fast. They're they're comfortable. Um, if I'm spending forty grand on a car, I think that's what I would get. Honestly. So for me, I what I was telling what I was telling my girl was that like if I'm gonna drop forty k on a car for fi- for efficiency, I would choose a Tesla before I choose a Prius. Oh yeah, 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 and they're about the same price. Yeah, and um, but the thing is, though, is if you have a Tesla, you still need to have another car, unless you want to rent a car for like longer trips or something. Like that. I usually travel on average. I usually travel a couple times you can't a year. Do long trips? Don't they have the, like all this shit built into the map system? Or yeah, like? absolutely, they do. But it would add. So, for example, for tennis from here from from Orlando, Florida to Tennessee, it adds like four to five hours on your trip. Cause you gotta do all the detours. So so it adds like so so it adds like one hundred fifty. It's like one hundred fifty percent of what it would normally be for timing. Yeah, cause I, I timed it in there because I was thinking like, oh, because we we did the trip to Tennessee and I can go get the car for a week if I wanted to, for like three hundred bucks or whatever, two hundred something bucks for the week. So I was thinking because I have the cor- I have still the corporate lease account I could do it through. Yeah, you do need another car kind of. So so I was thinking about or just, you just fly. I was thinking about yeah <laughs> exactly yeah I was thinking about just doing my uh, the Tesla so I didn't put the miles on my car. And a little bit, it's comfortable. It has heated yeah. seats, everything like that. It's comfortable. You know, the car will drive itself and shit. It's cool. So I was thinking about renting it out for the long distance. And when I did the, when I did like the, when I plugged everything in, I was like, fuck, bro. It's going to add like four or five hours to my travel time for me to stop and charge. Mm-hmm. And the biggest thing is, is that like what they really need to do is, and this will be a huge thing for them to do, is they need to build charge stations off of major highways. Like, on the side of the road. Yeah, like those little turnpike pit stops. Yeah, exactly. Things. They yeah. need to add those on major highways like every 150 miles, 100 miles, some shit like that because... It won't add that much time. It will save you because a lot of the charging stations currently, you have to like... You'll be on the highway and sometimes you have to drive 10 minutes one way 
one way. So that's 20 minutes round trip driving. And then you also have your charge time, which can be 15 to 20 minutes. If I have to pull over, because you can get like about 300 miles or so on a long range, about 300 miles um, mm-hmm. of driving, which if you're doing 60 miles per hour, that's five hours straight. Yeah. Which is not bad. If taking, a, taking a 15 minute break every five hours is not bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can pull over and stretch your legs, go grab a snack, whatever. Go to that's the a long trip too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. my my girl's bladder is about five hours long, yeah. so <laughs> we have to stop soon. You know what I mean? So like, it's it's a good. It's not it's not horrible, but the detouring and everything like that's what really what really kills it right yeah. now. It, but it's it's in the works. So I think it'll be good in fifteen years, ten years, maybe not. Yeah, it's possible. Because the main reason, other reason why I brought that up is I saw something in two where there's all types of funding for all these other ways to go electric, and they're just not going. Yeah, and I think they're running into logistic issues, and it's it's interesting. Yeah, man, like and like that's another thing too that I wanted to add. Um, when I did have my Tesla, so fuck, what's it? Um, supercharged America, something like that. So there's so Tesla has their supercharged stations, amazing. I I didn't really. I've only had I had very few issues with the Tesla supercharged stations. Um, but there's another company called. Um, electrify america or some shit like that and that's basically like the superchargers of every other company besides tesla mm-hmm. they're like the at least from when I, when I back when i had the car like six months ago that was what it was they were like the ones that were like um like they're like the ones that are able to generate similar speeds to mm-hmm. the supercharger because that's the biggest difference is the superchargers are like 275 kilowatts those are like 300 kilowatts whatever but the problem is i went to four of those stations Every single time I went, almost none of the charger stations worked. Only like one or two. Like let's, I would say maybe like if they had like eight stations, only like one of them worked. Yeah, they probably so are like relying on. I wouldn't be surprised if Tesla started one of those. No, it was not. It's a whole other company. Cause, no, but like like helped start because you want other people to have supercharged stations. You want that to be a market. Yeah, you want people like. Hey, te- Tesla's can use. Hey, them. do you believe in EV in the future? This and that. Why don't you invest in in, in supercharging? Yeah. He, he might he might have invested. That would actually make a good point. You know, he can like, still make money on the back end. But if there's not a lot of people doing that, then you don't well, have abundance. Well, of. the problem is, is a lot of people want to use these stations. Yeah, but the problem is, like their maintenance is not up to Tesla's level. Uh, yeah. Every once in a while, you go to a Tesla supercharged station, and one might be down. That would help if they've had a little more quality there. You know? That's the thing; like their maintenance is not on par. Like for example, the one at the Florida Mall. There's one at Florida Mall, Electrify America. I don't know how many stations they have, like six or something like that. I went there three times, right? And then that one specifically. Every time I went, there was one that worked, and sometimes it didn't work mm. for them. And I went to three other Electrify Americas, and. They were same thing. Yeah, so their maintenance is not there, so it's yeah. it's just tough. And then the other ones are just too slow. Hey, I, I'm, all I'm saying is invest in Toyota. You know what I mean? Like, all right, did you invest yet? No. Okay, so what the fuck you talking about? I'm just not I'm broke. You said I'm broke. <laughs> broke man. You you big baller dollar man over here. This fucking podcast is eating me up, dog. <laughs> nah. Anyway, hey, man, thanks for tuning in, guys. Another episode. We got some fire coming. We got some good guests coming. Next week, yeah, we we're ready some, for we, it. We got some good stuff in the tuck we're for y'all ready, guys. Man. Stay tuned. If you guys didn't already like, follow, share, subscribe, go ahead and tell your friends about us, tell your mom about us, tell your dad about us, tell your sister about us, tell your father about us, tell everybody about us. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> if, if you didn't watch last episode, that was a reference. Go check it out. That shit was yeah. dope. All right, pocket watch out, guys. Out.